Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to talk about Ironfish. Ironfish is moving to a brand new algorithm called FishHash. For us miners, especially us GPUs miners, this could be very valuable. It's no secret that after uh, its launch on March 14th, 2023, Ironfish has lost a lot of its value for us GPU miners. It hasn't been that profitable, and especially after the FPGA miners jumped onto the network and made it more difficult for us to mine Ironfish and gain profit, this has not been a coin that we GPU miners have been investing a lot of time and effort into. And it seems like that the Ironfish development team has listened to the GPU miners around the world. They have reached out to the community looking for a brand new algorithm for Ironfish. And as far as I know, they uh, they were looking for an algo that was ASIC resistant and super GPU friendly. And I've heard that the head developer of LOL Miner reached out to the Ironfish team and presented a brand new algorithm. Uh, this was unlike anything else, and this algo is also called fish hash. Now in today's video I'm going to go, not go, but show you guys how you can mine, how you can, uh, when you should turn your rigs over and um, mine to the new network, how you set up your wallet and how you can mine Ironfish uh, through HiveOS. The date for this fork is actually today. or depends where you live but it said it said uh, based on this article here that ironfish will perform a hard fork at block height 503 338 on april the 2nd 2024 and it will switch to fish hash algorithm from this date on it will use the fish hash algorithm and miners must be must be used fish hash algorithm now I'm going to show you how you set up your rig, how you connect through HiveOS, how you set up your node. So let's jump into how you set up your node and start there. The first thing you want to do is to head over to ironfish.network. Here you need to go to um, uh, the, the menu use and you go to node app. And you can scroll down, down here, and you can see the different uh, versions of the Node app. As for this tutorial, we will download Windows. I already have this download, so I'm just going to show you how uh, uh, how it's done. You click on uh, this file here. You get uh, this application here. Since I already have downloaded it and installed it, I will stop, cancel this uh, uh, download. But it's an exec executable file, so you just follow the steps on the installation. And uh, when, when you finish with that, you will get an application on your desktop. Just hit the Ironfish icon and it will start to sync. This is how it looks like, looks like when you have uh, synced your node. You will get some, in the beginning, you will get some uh, questions about if you want to download a snapshot of the blockchain or, this or some other part of the blockchain and how you can sync. I recommend that you download a snapshot of the blockchain down to your computer. It doesn't require a very big uh, space. and in the beginning, you will see a yellow notice here and on top of your account, you will see a yellow notice that says uh, node is syncing. And you won't get the correct balance uh, within your uh, Ironfish node app before the node is completely synced. And as you can see, I'm on node 503.363. That means that my node today is already synced because this is 503 338 uh, no wait hold on yes 503 363 uh, so my node is already synced with the new fork 
So therefore, we're going to test the mining uh, onto the new new algorithm. So let's jump into high voice. If you have any questions, if I forget anything here, just comment down below and I will help you. But I think I got it covered. So I will jump down in. Uh, it's it, anyway. It's very easy. It's very easy setup. It's very easy um, guidelines on how to. to to install the node and everything and everything works by itself as long as you don't interrupt it so let's jump into HiveOS and see uh, how it's uh, how we can set up our node before we jump into HiveOS I just want to show you which uh, which pool is uh, most popular to use in this tutorial here we are not going to utilize cryptex.com because as far as I know, uh, they don't have this auto switch from the original Ironfish uh, algorithm to the new one. I don't think they have the auto switch on their pool. But I know hero miners have it. And as you can see, it's not a lot of miners on, um, on uh, hero miners. And when it's a lot of hash rate contributing to one specific pool you should always be careful uh, my general rule is that uh, is if 50% of known hash rates is pointed to a certain pool i take i take the next big uh, next best thing and in this case this is hero miners because you also have this uh, rule that if uh, a pool have most of the hash rate, it also can be hacked. So I want to stay away from cryptex based on this rule. I don't think they will be hacked because obviously they look like a very good pool and doing great things. But uh, other coins I mine, I mine mainly on hero miners because they have low fee and uh, and it's uh, payout uh, often and it's never I never experienced any problems with hero miners so and uh, as you can see here the uh, at hero miners the hard fork happened Ironfish now uses the fish hash algorithm. Ensure that you have defined the fish hash algorithm in your minor settings. So let's now jump in to um, Hive OS and let's set up a flight sheet and and I will show you what uh, how you can mine Ironfish on the new algorithm. All right, we are now back on. Uh, not back, but we're now on Hive OS. Uh, I see that I have to update my balance because here it's my balance is uh, negative, it's in plus and plus, but I have to update it. I will do that later. Anyway, let's jump in to this uh, farm. And uh, I already s have already set up my flight sheet for. Um, the new ironfish uh, algorithm but I'm going to show you how we can do it uh, with a brand new flight sheet so let's uh, hit flight sheet and the first thing you want to find is iron in the coin the wallet I already have added so I just hit uh, the wallet and this is the core wallet uh, if I go to account, this is the address. And then I select pool, and in this uh, example, it will be hero miners. Now, I choose the closest server to me, so it will be Finland and Germany, and I hit apply. Then I select a miner. Now, for this instance, I will select regional miner. And in setup minor config, I will, uh, if this is not automatically uh, chosen for you, you have to scroll down to find fish hash. There's nothing else you need to do, just apply changes and create flight sheet. Now I'm not going to create it because I already created it. 
So what we're going to do now, we're going to go to workers, we're going to go to my 3060 Ti and 3060 rig. You can see here I have uh, 5 3060 Ti's and I have 3 3060 LH LHR cards. These, and as we know, after a lot of la latest updates from NVIDIA, these have no low hash rate anymore. So we're going to pick the flight sheet, Iron Fish, this is ready, so we're going to deploy it. And we're going to wait a second and see what's happening and, uh, and see how much hash rate we can get on the new forked algorithm. And in HiveOS, it's reporting 147.8 mega hash. On fish hash algorithm, this is working fine. Temperatures is good. I don't know why I can see the fan speed on this one, but uh, anyway, this is looking good. The last one is actually making more uh, than the 3060 LR jar. Um, I'm not going to tweak anything here. I think this is good enough. Uh, if you want to tweak your GPUs, start with ETH hash algorithm or ETC hash algorithm and, and test it from there. You can also Google it. You can also um, not Google it, you check out, but yeah, you can also Google it, but you can also check YouTube videos, but uh, you can also, if I want to tweak this one, I can uh, go here, popular presets, select coin, iron, and select algorithm, in this case it will be fish hash, and if I go to there, okay, you have some tweaks that can work, I'm not going to it g just gives me 0.3%. That's the best it can give me. But if I go to ETHASH or ETC, it can give me 1% better. And it's not worth that. I, I don't see where 1% can give me any more, more. Uh, any better tweaks. I, I'm very happy with the tweaks that I already have. This was set a long, long time ago. So. I will stick to this. I go back to the farm overview here, and uh, I now can see what I'm, how much hash rate I'm contri contributing to the network and to the uh, hero miners pool. So let's check out hero miners. See what estimated uh, earnings are. Here we are in Hero Miners, and we can see that the current hash rate is 100 megahertz per second. Of course, you have to register everything, but if you go up here, you can see um, enter your hash rate here 147.8. That will give me 27.5149 iron a month. Uh, this is four hundred forty nine point sixty eight dollars before power. That's the estimation. So why not run this to I get let's say around hundred irons? Why not? Uh, since this algorithm now is just for GPU mining, I think Ironfish could have some potential. And that's what Ironfish was all about, to give uh, GPU miners a better uh, currency to mine to gain prof profits. That's also why the head developer of LOL Miner offer them a brand new algorithm. We don't know what will happen. I remember last year I had some ton coins and I sold it. And I regret it because ton coin is actually doing good now. 
So <coughs> you never know what coins will will uh, g give you some great profits. And if you're looking for a profitability for a short run or long run, you have to consider what you want to mine. I'm not a typical miner that uh, mine a certain coin for a period and then exchange it and uh, sometimes I do but mainly I mine a coin keep it and let's see how it evolves uh, so I, I think Ironfish based on they're going over to a new algorithm that is ASIC and FPGA resistance will help GPU miners a lot. And the mine I mined before I turned my rig now over to Ironfish, I mined Husat network. And Husat is a fork of Caspa. I will I think this is the address. No. Hold on, I'm going to find it out. This is the address, network.husat.fi. And this is a very interesting project. I'm not going to go in details here, but Husat is a fork of Casper. I'm already working on a video based on Husat network, and it's a new pro blockchain project built on a powerful foundation, the Casper blockchain, which is innovative and has gold stack protocol and uh, this the Huset network is also ASICs and FPGA resistant it's for GPU miners and I think Huset will do very great they just launched their web wallet similar to Casper's web wallet to check it out and uh, I will, ma I will. The next video will be about Husat Network. So I have a lot of trust in Husat Network, based on that they're utilizing the Ghost Tank protocol. I hope this video was uh, helpful for you. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Every link. Of articles that I have shown you will be in the description and uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and for now I see you next time have a nice day